In this video, I want to talk about drugs that we use to treat influenza. In order to understand them, we first need to look at the influenza life cycle. So influenza is a negative strand, single-stranded RNA virus, and its genome is segmented. It has a three important virulence factors, that's hemagglutinin, the neuraminidase, and then the M2 protein. We have to note that the M2 protein is only found in influenza A, not in influenza B. So let's look how influenza infects respiratory epithelial cells. So the first step is an interaction between hemagglutinin and sialic acid. So hemagglutinin is found on the envelope of the influenza, and this binds to sialic acid, which is expressed on the respiratory epithelial cell. Then the virus gets endocytosed by receptor-mediated endocytosis. It's going to end up in the endosome. The endosome is going to fuse with the lysosome. There's going to be acid within the endolysosome. Protons will also be able to really get through the envelope by using this M2 proton channel. And then in the end, the capsid will be destroyed and the viral genome will be released into the cytosol. Once the RNA made it into the nucleus, the first thing is we need to produce a complementary RNA strand. And so the influenza virus brings with it an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase to make first this plus strand, the complementary strand. And from this strand, it can then use the host machinery to make mRNA, to make proteins, and then the virus is assembled and needs to bud out of the cell. And that's a way how influenza can produce a lot of baby viruses. But one problem that influenza needs to solve is how can it really bud out? Because remember, the influenza virus has hemagglutinin on its surface, and this is going to bind to sialic acid. So the virus has a stickiness problem. The virus cannot be released because the hemagglutinin is going to bind to sialic acid. So how the virus solves this problem is that it brings with it another virulence factor, an enzyme that's called neuraminidase. And the job of neuraminidase is to chop off sialic acid. And that helps the virus to finally butt out. Now we can talk about drugs to treat influenza virus. And actually, there's only one really important drug. And these belong to the class of the neuraminidase inhibitors. So the idea is to use a drug that blocks this enzyme that chop off the sialic acid. And therefore, the virus will just be stuck to the respiratory epithelial cell and will be not able to butt out. And this drug class are called neuraminidase inhibitors, and the most famous representative is oseltamivir. There are more of them. There's also paramivir, tanamivir. They're all in an ivir, so ivir for influenza virus. And the brand name of oseltamivir is Tamiflu. And you probably have heard that Tamiflu is only given kind of rather quick after you feel the first symptoms of influenza. It's only recommended to give it within two days, or you can give it as a prophylaxis. And if you understand the mechanism of action of this drug, it should make sense. I mean, if you wait five days into the influenza infection, I mean, the system is so overwhelmed that it's not going to matter if you block some body of of the virus. So therefore, in oseltamivir, Tamiflu, it can only be given within two days of the first symptoms of influenza. There's one other drug that is on the market. It's not recommended, but you can still get it. And that's called amantidine. And amantidine is an M2 blocker, so it blocks this proton channel that brings in the protons, which eventually are going to destroy the envelope and the capsid of the influenza virus. But remember that M2 protein is only found in influenza A, so it would not have any effect on influenza B. And it's also from the FDA not generally recommended anymore. I also want to mention that amantidine is a drug that is used to treat Parkinson's disease. It is also an NMDA receptor blocker. This concludes the video on the influenza life cycle and influenza treatments.